can we can we zoom out a little bit? Could you talk a little bit more about the engineering pods? Because um, that seems like a really interesting team structure, and, and you'd reference it a couple times, but I think many folks listening in may be a little bit unfamiliar with, with what that concept is, how that interacts within the entire organization. So what are the engineering pods? Yeah. Um, so typically how uh, I've seen our team be the most successful is if there are folks who are focused on specific goals or end users uh, who are cross-functional and, and work together, um, and the engineering team is split up into pods that work the most closely with certain cross-functional groups. So for example, um, we've had the, our ops team uh, that focuses mostly on our customer support team, instructor operations, um, and they work with a pod of you know roughly four or five engineers right now. And then we also have that reflected for our growth side pod. Um, you know that's more a combination of marketing plus the engineering folks, and then our learner pod, um, which was more for uh, call it our student experience, student slash parent experience, and that's like a combination of our curriculum team and uh, our a couple engineers as well um, behind that. And so I found that that actually enables folks to understand much more clearly who their collaborative folks are, like. I can go directly to, if I'm an engineer, I can go directly to a curriculum person and get feedback on something very quickly. I also know who my designer is and who my PM is. And there's kind of like this very, almost like a mini company within the company. And this is our specific goal. And this is our specific end user. That actually allows for a lot more transparency versus, I think what's tough is if you have an engineering manager, an engineering leader, who's kind of, they're the one single point person with the rest of the team, that's obviously not going to scale very well. So we have TLs for each of the pods that are really more the representative folks. And then um, they they kind of collaborate together with the cross-functional pod to make sure stuff is prioritized, also communicate deadlines and that kind of thing. So I, I've really liked this structure of having like mini orgs with mini companies within the company. It also creates a lot more ownership on everybody's plate because they know who their people are and you know what their end goal is. So um, big fan of the pod structure if you uh, haven't, haven't noticed. 